In today's video, we're talking about solo Bitcoin mining, and I'm going to show you some of the hardware that I'm currently using to, well, play the solo Bitcoin lottery. And in addition to that, I got some old hardware that I'd like to repurpose and add to that. So stay tuned. I'll show you the project that I'm working on. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at ASICmarketplace.com. With crypto mining hardware prices dropping, it's critical to find an online store you can trust with your ASIC purchases. The team at ASICmarketplace.com has you covered with some of the most competitive pricing on the market. No matter what brands you're looking for, ASIC Marketplace has it. To name just a few, Bitmain, Goldshell, What's Miner, IB Link, iPolo, Jazz Miner, and many more. There are no surprises with ASIC Marketplace. The price listed on their website includes shipping. Imagine that. Finally, ASIC Marketplace takes the buying experience to the next level by accepting cryptocurrency as payment directly on their store. Go check out ASIC Marketplace today via the link in this video's description down below, as well as save $50 at checkout with the discount code the Hobbyist Miner. Before we do, do you guys remember this thing? This is a heat bit, and we talked about this a while back. We had some follow-up videos on it, and I'll be honest, we've had nothing but a nightmare dealing with heat bit and just the product overall. So this heat bit here, quick heads up, quick detail information on it, it's a heater, but it also mines Bitcoin, and the way it heats is it mines Bitcoin, and it pushes the heat out the top there that you guys can see, and it goes ahead and heats up a room. In theory, it'd be pretty cool, but... We took this thing and we turned it into this right here. So this unit did not work. It failed multiple times. We worked with a company multiple, multiple times. If you guys want a video detailing exactly what happened with the heat bit, or I actually did a full like strip down of this unit, a full video of it, I'll put links directly down below or in the upper right hand corner. But we're talking about the heat bit today because I don't care about any of this stuff. If you do and you want it, reach out, let me know, we can work something out. But I just care about this guy right here, the actual ASIC behind the Bitcoin mining. And we're gonna be adding this later in the video. We're actually gonna be building it out and deciding to go ahead and add it to our solo Bitcoin mining fleet. I don't even know why I call it a fleet. I have like two machines. <laughs> let me show you what we're using for solo Bitcoin mining right now. And then we'll get into this little project that interests me the most. Okay, so inside of this, was a mining room, now it's a storage closet, it has some computer equipment running in it. But this is where I have some solo mining going on. And you can see here, this is actually the Mars lander. Uh, and then this guy, this guy has been a huge increase in my solo Bitcoin mining. This is the Gecko Science Terminus R909. Uh, got this directly from Altair Tech. This little guy here, check it out. Powers into, it plugs into power and then wires right into this Mars lander. So the Mars lander actually has like the miner and everything on it, does all the work, actually has its own little compact F uh, miner there. But where we get most of our horsepower is this guy over here. So this one only does like, I think it was like 200 or something like that. And uh, this guy over here adds 1.6 to it. So we've gone ahead and increased our hash rate, pretty good. So we're right under, we're about 1.8 tera hash right now on solo Bitcoin mining, which is awesome. And this has been really, really nice. I've been really happy with it. Uh, this unit here, oh, look at push down on it, it makes noise, I think, because I'm pushing down on where that fan's at. But these have been really, really nice, putting some hash rate out there. But I was thinking, I was like, okay, my thoughts on, on solo Bitcoin mining, and I'd love to get yours. So let me give a few thoughts on solo Bitcoin mining, and then we'll jump into the project. All right, so solo Bitcoin mining. Let's just be straight up here, okay? Is it profitable day to day? No, you don't actually profit or make anything unless you hit a solo Bitcoin block. And if you do, then you're singing and you're super happy. But is it common? No, not at all. It's... Solo Bitcoin mining is very much kind of like gambling or playing the lottery. The only benefit is, is that with solo Bitcoin mining with hardware, you're constantly in the game. You know, it's not like gambling where you go out, you put your money on red or black, or you're playing blackjack, you lose your money and you're out. Okay. It's not like that. 
Or it's not like the lottery where you buy a ticket and you play once and then you're done. Nope, not like that either. The nice thing is with the hardware for solo Bitcoin mining, you set it, you forget it, and every once in a while you check it just to make sure that it's still running and it continues to let you play this, and I, and I call it, it's, it's the solo Bitcoin mining lottery. You're just constantly in the game hoping that at some point you're going to hit a solo Bitcoin block. So in theory, the more hash rate you have on solo Bitcoin mining theory, the more likely you are to hit a block. Now, I got nothing crazy. I mean, we talked about it in the room here when we go back in here. We talked about it right here. We got our Mars lander, which doesn't do a lot. A lot of flashy lights, fun stuff like that. And then we have the Terminus R909. Now the Terminus R909 could run entirely without the Mars lander, but you'd have to go ahead and plug it into a computer or something else like that that actually does the mining. The Terminus is really just the hardware and the horsepower. So what I want to do is take this guy here, and it's, it's an old S9i or S9j. I, I can't even remember, to be honest with you guys. And I want to take it, and I've actually bought a few odd and ends. I actually bought one thing, the fans I had. Uh, but I'll show you what I bought so we can get it up and mining and running and joining our fleet. Maybe we'll build this out even more for solo Bitcoin mining. As I said, is it profitable? No. But is it fun? Heck yeah, love this stuff. All right, so here is our project today. Um, so once again, this is what was inside the heat bit. And man, you can see, I this is even cleaned out, honestly. Uh, but you can see here that these hashboards, they definitely got some love to them. Most likely heat bit bought these pre-used. Uh, but you can see it's like missing the front plate, the back plate. Um, not, it's weird, like things aren't secured properly. And I think this was because the way that Heatbit did things, they had some shrouds and stuff like that. So like you can see the hashboards don't stay in place. Um, the control board on top doesn't stay in place. Look at this. It's actually really wonky. It's actually like kind of angled coming out of there. But we did take this in a previous live stream. And if you guys are interested, it's a longer live stream. But if you're interested, check it out. And we got this up on run, uh, running and we actually flashed it with Brains uh, OS and that actually worked out really well. Now this, as I said, I think this is the S9i uh, for what I for what I recall, it's been a little while. So what I decided to do was like, all right, this will be a lot of fun. You hear that word fun again? Yeah, crypto mining, fun, can you believe it? Putting profitability aside, sometimes it can be fun right now, especially during the bear market. But we're gonna strip everything out here and I bought this off of eBay. It was super cheap, it was like 20 bucks and it is an S9i chassis. And the nice thing is we have all of our screws. Look, we have our front plate, we have our screws for the front and then on the back side here, we have the back plate as well. We, don't, we didn't have those. So in order to get this working like a typical miner, I mean, you could run it like this but I wanna go ahead and add some fans to it. I did have these from a previous project. Uh, they are four pin fans, so those will work out great. High RPM fans as well. And then finally, you know, the power supply that we did have to hook to this was like this weird proprietary one that they actually put together that wouldn't work standalone. It needed these weird wonky converters and plugs. And more recently, I bought a handful of these bit mains um, off of actually eBay, the brand new, uh, and uh, they're 1800 uh, when it comes down to your watts. Uh, if you want the exact model, model APW712 1800A3, significantly cheaper than anywhere else I could find them. And I got them off of eBay, a whole bunch of these actually, because I was like, holy cow, they were like $50. Uh, and brand spanking new, I have them running on a few of my ASICs now and they've worked really well. So I was like, okay, totally overkill, totally overkill for this, but I don't have any other smaller power supplies. I could use like a server PSU if I wanted to, but I was like, ah, I like running these ASICs with the ASICs here. So let me see what I could do at moving everything over and then I'll keep you guys updated along the way. My goal is, is to get this solo mining with my other equipment and then we'll get to see exactly how much hash rate we have solo mining Bitcoin.
came together pretty damn well. Ran into some snags, but other than that, it worked out awesome. So the chassis, believe it or not, was a little bit different on this one. This side here was a little bit shorter than on my other one. So I just swapped out the chassis, which was fine. Just repurposed it, but man, I was like panicking there. Uh, we swapped over this, I guess it's like a control board lid template area. Worked out nicely. Was having some issues with the SD card. Realized I had it upside down. Genius, right? Other than that, everything came together really, really well. Uh, really happy with the way the fans came together too. Like the fans wire up nicely here and just zip tied them off. I like it nice and clean. I don't like the cables kind of hanging out there and such. Power supply, man, looks so good on here. I mean, uh, I love it. I mean, look at that. We went from the heat bit in pieces and now we actually have ourselves legit ASIC. I mean, honestly, you guys don't have to go like buy a heat bit to do all this. If you guys want to go out and look up like an S9i and you guys can find one of these units out there for dirt cheap on Facebook Marketplace or eBay, dirt cheap. Um, believe it or not, I think you'd actually spend more money on these high RPM fans. Now I did make sure I had to check my arrow going through for my intake and on the back side coming out because I've made that mistake many times where I put them the wrong way. But yeah, this looks awesome. So as I said, this does have brains on it right now. I'm super new to brains, like amateur hour, like barely know what I'm doing, but I'm super new to it. So let's get this plugged in, powered up, and let's take a look and see how we're doing and how much this will contribute to our solo mining. All right, some really cool stuff in here. So if I come up here and I'm learning as I go, but there's some, uh, there's some stuff that has sold me on using brains for more things. If you come up to configure, um, you can go to performance and, and there's an auto tuning. So check this out. And this is like super exciting to me, but if you do auto tuning, you can set a target power right now. Uh, it's not set or a hash rate. So like you can pick like which one do you want? So in this case here, I could to pick power target and then I could say 1200 Watts or 650 Watts. Like let's like take it down, you know, try to be a little bit more efficient. Um, on top of that, you have lots of other options here that you have. You can enable the different boards as well if you want to, if you had to disable one. But the auto tuning is pretty sweet. I want to play with that, kind of find like, all right, do I want to run this like full bore? Because right now, like, let me look here. We're running at the wall just under a thousand watts currently right now at the wall, which is a lot, especially for something as little as like nine point some terahash. Now, I think where that's coming in, uh, if I go to configure and then performance, you see how down here you have three different hash boards. I haven't made any changes to these. This is just like exactly the way that the brains had installed for the S9. I think I'm performing lower right now because of the megahertz and everything like that and the voltage. So I could probably play with these and adjust these quite a bit in order to get higher performance if I wanted to, because I was over here looking at uh, mine the ASIC and there's so many different models. Now, this one is supposed to be the 14 terahash, which is 1,320 watts uh, and we're only at about a thousand watts. So it seems like there's definitely some tweaking that can be done, but I'll probably set this up for more efficiency. Um, you know, lower these watts down pretty significantly with the auto tuning, which is pretty sweet. But let's take a look, last look here, refresh. 15 terahash, what? Let's go back here. All right, so maybe a little delayed there, but that is awesome. Uh, but it, we'll, we'll let it go ahead and kind of balance itself out quite a bit. All right, guys. Well, that's it. It was just a fun video on solo Bitcoin mining. You know, I like to tinker and this is right up that alley. Everything came together really well. I have a lot that I can play with here with this and the operating system. Let me know your thoughts. Have you guys ever used Brains before? Uh, this is my first step into it and I'm sold. I mean, it's awesome. I really, really like it. Um, it doesn't have firmware for everything. I know for like the S19s and the S9s, but I believe the L3 like isn't supported or anything. But yeah, solo mining, Bitcoin. Am I crazy? Maybe, but 
it's okay. It's okay to, I mean, I'm just putting it out there. I feel it's okay to have fun and tinker and invest into some of this stuff um, as a hobby, as something fun to do. And, you know, we're not going crazy. We're not putting our whole farm on solo Bitcoin mining, just two workers as of right now. Well, love to hear your thoughts and feelings on solo Bitcoin mining. Leave them down below. Other than that, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, give it one of these and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. The Meter Box and Octo Miner are teaming up for another exciting giveaway. Win the latest proof of useful work, Octo Server E10, and X8 Ultra Plus and more. Introducing the limited edition Octo Miner box set by Meter Box. It includes the 125 volt and 250 volt meter boxes, a special NFT, stickers, and a keychain. Hurry, only 250 box sets available. Visit themeterbox.com now to secure yours today. Purchase the Octo Miner box set and unlock a secret code for 1,000 entries. Plus, earn an extra 1,000 entries and receive that collectible NFT. Don't miss out. The contest ends July 30th.